Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. This one I'm in Photoshop 2024. It is a great program. Um, I'm going to show you a bunch of different things in neural filters, but we're going to be using a very old picture of a family member of mine. As you can see, it's super low res. It's not very clear. There's like little bends and stuff in the photo. Uh, it's not great. I want to try to make this look a lot better. So I'm simply going to go up to filter and I'm going to go to neural filters. And here you'll see it opens up uh, a bunch of filters that we could play around with, like skin smoothing, smart portrait, makeup transfer, um, landscape mixer, style transfer, harmonization, color transfer, colorize, super zoom, depth blur, JPEG artifacts, removal, and photo restoration. And I'll go through these all in different tutorials, but since we're working with an old black and white photo, let's go ahead and do photo restoration. So let me turn that on and you'll see uh, it's processing. And automatically, without me doing anything, you see her face is so much clearer. The picture overall is much cleaner. And if you go over here, you can see that we can adjust these controls. There's photo enhancement. It put it at 50, but we could crank it all the way up to 100 and then it recalculates. And if you see, I mean, to me, that looks really artificial. And if I crank it all the way down, we pretty much go to originally what we had. So Photoshop making it around 50 was probably pretty good. Let's see, could boost it. Eh, yeah, 50 is pretty good. And then there's this enhanced face. And if you see, it was on 60, I can crank it up. It's bringing more and more clarity to the face, but you got to be careful because you don't want it to look uh, over the top and artificial. I'm going to bring that back down. Um, and then there's scratch reduction, which it did not automatically do. So I can increase that. It's processing. You got to give it time to do its work. Sometimes you can move the controls a little bit and be like, oh, what's going on here? But you got to let it do its thing. And yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Um, there's also um, under adjustments, there's some other things you can mess with, like noise reduction. Yeah, that might have cleaned it up too much. And then there's like color noise reduction, which I don't think we really have to worry about in this black and white photo. There's halftone artifact reduction. And there's JPEG artifacts reduction. And as you can see, you know, Photoshop did a good job of just putting the settings on that it wanted, but you can certainly go ahead and tweak these. I probably went too far with them, so I'm going to step back a little bit. And then if you're happy with that, you can just press OK. But while we're here, why don't we play around with colorize, right? Because this is black and white photo. So I'm going to go ahead and turn Colorize on. And wow, look at that. It just took this old photo and gave it some very natural looking color. I am really impressed with that, to be honest with you. Um, there are, again, adjustments below. And under profile, you can select from like different sort of presets. But I've got to be honest with you, I really love those results. So I'm just going to leave that alone. So if we're OK with um, those settings, I can press OK. And then we're back into the regular Photoshop screen. And if you notice, one thing that Photoshop didn't do a great job of is there's sort of this white line here. So I'm going to have to manually zoom in and, and fix that. But that's not a big deal. I can use the clone stamp tool to do that. And that's it. That's why neural filters are so great, even with old black and white photos. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.